Hey, Marcus here with CD and Power. Uh, today I'm working on a Dynagen ES52 controller. Uh, it's a direct replacement for another ES52 controller uh, that unfortunately, uh, through some dangling wires, uh, shorted out the crank circuit uh, that were that was associated while they were doing some stuff in the uh, transfer switch. Uh, this one happens to be located in the transfer switch because uh, the generator is right next to it. So here's the front of the Dynagen ES52, and then I'll show you a picture of the back of it. Uh, pretty capable, robust uh, little controller here. Um, it gets its reference typically from a, a mag pickup that would be installed here, but not every generator has a mag pickup, so this one happens to be getting its speed using the voltage that the unit is creating. So that's just a a ground and then you got 120 coming in on the other leg there. Um, you've got your uh, crank disconnect, your overspeed, and crank rest, and timer settings all on these uh, these little potentiometers. And uh, those are all uh, factory set usually um, to work. And then uh, you have your dip switches right next to them. Uh, those dip switches, uh, anything from crank tries to speed settings um, and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty neat little controller. Uh, you can use them in a lot of different uh, scenarios. And uh, this one happens to be uh, used to run this little guy, this little Onam 5KW generator. So, but yeah, we got the new one installed, tested. I've got everything set correctly. And uh, now, it's, now it's just a, a four hour load bank. So, yay. All right, have a good day.